yesterday, news dropped out of nowhere that Nintendo has basically announced that a live action Zelda movie is in fact coming and it is official. Now, you guys will remember that we discussed this a lot around here, like after the Super Mario Brothers and the discussion was, well, what comes next after Super Mario Brothers? Other than a sequel, the only real answer that's on the plate for a Nintendo-based thing is The Legend of Zelda. I mean, that's that's it. That's the other thing you have that's even remotely close to the legacy, to the popularity, to the multi-generational appeal that the Super Mario Brothers had. And then we had a bit of a debate about whether or not it should be animated, it should be live action. You guys know I was very firmly, it should be live action, you should do it. And that is what they are doing. This comes from the folks over at Coming Soon who wrote the following. Nintendo has revealed a live action, The Legend of Zelda movie is on the way. In a press release from Nintendo, it was announced that development will begin on a live action The Legend of Zelda movie. It will be directed by Wes Ball, who was best known for his work directing The Maze Runner, Maze Runner, Maze Runner Scorched Trials, Maze Runner The Death Cure, and the upcoming, and this is the part that gets some people excited, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And you guys know that the trailer for Kingdom of the Pan Planet of the Apes just dropped the other day. And it looks remarkable. I haven't been all that excited for the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes movie. And then I saw that trailer. And that trailer just hit all the right buttons. It struck all the right notes. I instantly got really fascinated by it. And then following up on that momentum, Nintendo comes out. They says we're going to be doing a Zelda movie. And it's going to be live action. And oh, the guy who's directing that Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes movie that looks so good. That's the guy who's going to be directing this. Now, look, I know there is going to continue to be debate because I've seen a bunch of you guys sending me messages too about, man, I really think it should have been animated. I thoroughly disagree. I thoroughly disagree that this should be animated. I 100% believe that this should be a live action project because honestly and quite frankly, when it comes to the properties that Nintendo has that they can even make into movies, I think that's limited. What's even more limited is the properties that you have that could potentially be live action. Like, I, I don't think you can do Mario live action. I mean, they tried to do that once and uh, obviously that didn't really work <laughs> out. I think you have the opportunity here. You have a property in Legend of Zelda that has all the makings for a truly epic sword and sandal, epic fantasy kind of live action film. I'm not going to do what everybody else does and says it could be the next Lord of the Rings. I'm not going to say it could be the next Lord of the Rings, but I think this could be really, really special. And I love, love the fact that they said they're going to do this in live action. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com dot com slash campia cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia now sean i think there's going to be a lot of people who are very very happy to hear this news but in that group of people that are happy to hear it i think there are probably are going to be a lot of people who have always kind of envisioned you know if they did a link movie if they did a zelda movie that it was going to be animated i'm thrilled to hear that it's going to be live action how do you feel about it? And what do you see as the pros and cons of, you know, doing something either live action, animated? How do you take this? So I was having those same conversations when Mario came out. And I, 
in my mind, this one could go either way. I'm more inclined to be interested in the live action, but I can fully respect that after seeing what they did with Mario, that that, that could work. Um, but with Zelda, you're talking about a franchise where you have characters that are pre-established. It is a much more kind of plot-based game, and it's in a reality that is easy to envision in live action. You think Super Mario Brothers, the game is a freaking acid trip. It's a shroom trip where you're literally like, jump into the pipe, j- pop off of the mushroom, weird creature, you jump on his head. Like, how do you do that in live action and make it work? You, you can't. Whereas guy with a sword, shield, bow and arrow, that can be really, really cool. And so it, like in my mind, I think there's room to do live action. Then again, they did that SNL skit with uh, Pedro Pascal, and I kind of want to see that dark, bleak take on Mario now <laughs> after that bit. But besides that, Mario doesn't translate. Link, I think, can. But what you mentioned about Wes Ball, this guy, a month ago, I wouldn't have thought too much. Like, Wes Ball, the Maze Runner guy, they're fine movies. Then, as you said, that trailer, it hit all the right buttons that I wanted it to hit. And then with this announcement, you go, are the are the Sony people seeing the footage and going, this guy's the next A-lister. This this guy's getting the real deal. We got to snatch him for our next big franchise. That's what it kind of feels like in my mind. So, um, and then it's a very effects heavy film with apes. And so there's just a lot of things where you can see the the translation of how one might prep him to do the other. Right. So this gets me excited. Um, I, and I, I think... With animation, um, I don't know. I think inherently it feels a little bit more kiddie. It, it feels a little bit more we're aiming for a younger audience versus if you do bows and arrows, live action, big monsters, it feels like we're going for a, an, an mm. older audience. Um, whether that's good or bad, uh, you can determine for yourself. But um, I, I, I would lean towards live action, but I could be convinced the other way. Now, the next big debate, that has already started, actually. It started back when discussions of a Link movie even started to come up is, should Link speak? Should Link talk? I mean, I, I get there are going to be some video game purists that feel, no, he should. I, but listen, even go through the games, Link communicates. And I think if you're going to translate to the live action screen, I personally fall, and I know this pisses some people off, I personally fall on the side that Link should speak. I think he should be a talking character. Where do you fall on that hot button issue? Well, as someone that was born in 1981, they had a Zelda animated show in the late 80s. Right. And he even yeah. had a catchphrase where he goes, excuse me. So <laughs> if we don't get an excuse me in this movie, what are we even doing? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's it's really tough to, to have a lead character that's not speaking. Um, so I, you just limit yourself with it when you do those sorts of choices. So I, I don't want to present myself as an expert. I do still have my copy of the Legend of Zelda that I got back in the 80s. I played A Link to the Past, but I haven't followed up on the more recent games. But um, I I just think you have to. You you limit yourself very heavily when you start saying we're not going to do things like that. All right, guys. Question is, what do you feel about this? A live-action Zelda movie is coming. I think that's fantastic, and I think it's extra fantastic that they're going to do it live action. It's bold. It's I, I like what Sean said about that because we, not that animation is for is just for kids. Nobody is suggesting that. But when you look at what Nintendo did with the Super Mario Brothers, it was clearly a little bit more lean towards kids and children. That's kind of what they were doing there. If they can come out of the gate and do something like epic, and I know that's an overused word, but like really epic live action fantasy sort of thing with a Zelda movie, I think that could be really, really killer or absolutely terrible. We'll find out. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.